BT Entertainment Weekly is brought to you by Grab somebody and tell them hello Weekend, everybody. I'm so excited, and I bet you are too. This is BT Entertainment, and I'm Camila. Ready to get you started for what I hope will be a fabulous break from the grind and enough talking. Let's get started. There were big celebrations this week as the godfather of local entertainment, Richard Stout, reached a milestone. He celebrated his 70th birthday in the company of loved ones and friends, and especially the entertainers he helped to groom into stars. It was a spectacular night. Amid the festivities, Culture Minister Stephen Lashley hinted that Stout was in line to receive a well-deserved so, gift. But I think that there is work to be done to ensure that Richard's legacy, as it relates to the development of our young talent in Barbados, does not die when he is called to higher service. And we have to do something within the government to ensure that that does not happen. I think that far too often great Barbadians and the work of great Barbadians are not accorded the kind of stature, the kind of focus, and the kind of permanence that is required. The St. Philip North constituency was also in a celebratory mood. Residents kicked off their 50th anniversary independence celebrations with a gospel concert in King George V Memorial Park. Hundreds turned out and offered sacrifices of praise while enjoying performances by the likes of Sister Marshall, Gauzy, Misha Woods, and many others. <laughs>
It was a heavenly week for jazz lovers. A long-awaited Nanaki Barbados Music Festival got started on Wednesday with a fitting tribute to Irving Burgi, the writer of our national anthem. The Love 1688 band was the main act, featuring Debbie Reefer, DJ Simmons, and Nikita, who performed some of Burgi's hits. Well, I'm swimming in that thing. You laughing, and she's smirking. I mess up, but me to the mess because I figure by the time I cross over the river, can dry up all together. Huh. Look at this thing for my donor. I said, I can't cross over. The river come down, and I can't cross over. Huh. I can't cross over. River. The festival continues Friday through to Sunday and will feature the likes of Asbad on Friday, Roberta Flack on Saturday and Edwin Yearwood on Sunday plus many many more. Here at BT Entertainment we've been keeping our eyes on Soka Diva Nikita. We had a chat with the rising star who was still excited about the success of her recent hit Tequila. It was a strategic one from the beginning of the year. I knew exactly what I wanted to do and the songs were strategic as well. Tequila, I wanted to put my name in the song so that people wouldn't have to guess, you know, who it is. And I really wanted to make my mark in, in Carpover. It was like a reintroduction to who I am and what I'm doing. It was a hit and um, I didn't expect it to be as big as it was and I'm forever grateful. And she's in the business to stay, but she's hoping to chart her own path and not be like anyone else. I am ready to be that next female star out of Barbados. Um, and I say that without being cocky or arrogant or anything. I just think that we're so ready for that. Um, you know, Alison is respected worldwide for the music that she's done. And no, I'm not trying to be the next Alison. <laughs> I know everybody keeps asking, you know, are you the next Alison? Are you the next Rihanna? No, I just. Leave them, and I, you know, I, they, they've done amazing work. I look up to both of them. Um, I respect them as female singers and artists. It's hard as a female artist in this industry, and um, I just want to be me. I just want to be the best, Nikita. And um, I will do my hardest. I will put all the effort in to make sure that happens. The Golden Globes was last weekend, and it was all about Taraji Henson, aka Cookie Lion. She won the award for the best actress in a drama series, and she stole the whole show with her acceptance speech. Take a look. Who knew that playing an ex convict would take me all around the globe? <laughs> it just goes to show. I thought it would be Queenie Will, I thought it would be my character from uh, you know, Karate Kid. But it's Cookie, who spent 17 years in jail for selling crack. Okay! So the world loves real. Thank you. So many people to thank. My manager, Vincent Sorrention, you've been with me for this enti my entire career. My publicist, Pam Sharp. Uh, so many people to Please rap. Wait a minute. I've waited 20 years for this. You gonna wait? Um, yeah, you gonna give me a little more time. I think, yeah, my fans, they've been praying for this. They're all on Twitter like, yeah, yeah, hope you get it. You gotta give me time. My family, um, Fox, Dana, and Dana Walden, and, and Gary, you, you're here. Thank you for believing in this show. Interesting and indeed. Denzel Washington also collected the Golden Globe Life Achievement Honor. I'm speechless. I just thank you. I thank the Hollywood Foreign Press. Uh, Freddie Fields, who first, some of you may know Freddie Fields, he invited me to the first uh, Hollywood Foreign Press uh, luncheon. He said, they're going to watch the movie, we're going to feed them, they're going to come over, 
You're going to take pictures with everybody. You're going to hold the magazines, take the pictures, and you're going to win the award. <laughs> And that's it from us here at BC Entertainment for yet another week. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our show and looking forward to seeing you next week. In the meantime, link us up at www.barbastoday.bb or like us on Facebook for more. Drop us an email at entertainment at And remember, always know your worth and never settle for less than you deserve. See you next week. <laughs>